Hey, good looking. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're coming in from the searching of the YouTube. I usually put out content beauty related centered around single eyeshadows, makeup brushes, and sunscreen. But I also like to do these quarterly hauls of Grove Collaborative. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And also, I am Kendra Morgan Official. I like to put out beauty content and also I like to do Grove hauls for some reason. I'm a little bit coffee. I'm gonna be a little out of breath and I've also got a state. I'm probably gonna have to have a cough drop in my mouth so I don't start coughing all over the place. But let's move. Thanks so much for joining me and if you're new here coming off the search engine, welcome to my channel. I hope you subscribe so that you don't miss any future Grove Collaborative hauls or any chances to see some Grove Collaborative products. I have done the biggest Grove Collaborative haul in 2021 to your folks. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get started. I will list everything timestamp below. This is Grove Collaborative Haul 2021. Before you click off because you are only here for the makeup, I bought some makeup, just hear me out. It's all gonna be timestamped and linked down below. It's so easy to be subscribed to my channel. So if you're not already, make sure do, that you do so. We're gonna get started with the beauty products first and then I will go into the Grove Collaborative Products. So if you need to skip around, feel free to. Doesn't bother me a bit. In fact, I love it. I love it when you get the content you need and it's clear and concise. <clears throat> First product that I picked up that was beauty related. Um, I am interested in some clean beauty, some just really, really easy products I can use on a daily basis that aren't going to, they're just not going to really do too much, but just give me a clean, polished look. I'm also starting to become more conscious and aware as a consumer and i want to start using products that are a vegan b cruelty free well i should say a cruelty free and b um, possibly vegan i know it's a little bit harder when you go vegan but we'll start with the cruelty free so i picked up some rms beauty products and i'm going to share them with you got some swatches and all that good job so mm -hmm, make sure make sure you stay all right first one that i picked up was the famous uncover up concealer in shade 11.5 i felt this feels like the consistency of coconut oil with a little bit of pigment in it so if you like that kind of Feeling, then I think you really enjoy this. I do have a little bit of concealer on right now, but nothing spectacular. So let's just try just a little bit like down in here. Oh yeah. This is a little bit more yellow leaning, but you know, all the neutral shadows or all the neutral shades generally tend to do that to me. They're a little, cause I do lean just ever so slightly cool toned. But this one, I feel like is probably about as neutral as you can get. I would have preferred just a little bit cooler, just a teeny weeny bit, but here. Oh yeah, and you can just like rub it on your skin. Just like that. So today I use the cover, mm, cruelty free, so I can announce that on my channel. Warm beige is what I use because it's actually a peachy toned. So let me just go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand. It's super cool toned in my opinion. And then let me get a little bit of the concealer. You get, let's not talk about how much you get because we all know it's not very much, but it's, it's designed by makeup artists. You probably can't even see it, but yeah, it does definitely lean a little bit on the more yellow toned side. This is considered warm beige. And I would definitely put this in the cool category if you ask me, but it does have some peachy undertones so I can see why. So next, product that I'm really excited to share with you guys. I picked up uh, an RMS eye polish in the shade Magnetic. This is probably the most beautiful taupe that doesn't lean too warm or too cool, but it has a bit of both of the reflex in it. I thought we'd put a little bit on my eyes today. Since I just have minimal makeup on, here it is. Just going to grab a brush. So I'm just taking, it's kind of a more like fluffy brush. Grabbing some of it off on my brush here. I do have some shadow on my eye, but you know. Now this is very much a one and done type of shadow as well. So there's I just have um, some Makeup Geek shadow underneath, which is also cruelty-free brand, 
but it is now as far as the consistency goes again it's that coconut oil feeling where you have to kind of rub it around warm it up to your finger and then your body temperature will warm it up and then this is a finger application right here see how it's not too cool but it's not really warm but it's got a little bit of reflex of both there's with a the brush application very nice and light and subtle and then with my finger definitely adds a little bit more of the color the next product that i picked up beauty related again the rms i picked up the signature set pop collection this is also a clean beauty product that's available at sephora i'll link all of the products that i use and demonstrate today in the description bar and it'll have the cost right next to it because off the top of my head i'm not sure if i remember all of them just um, as a note, this does not come with a mirror because it is a re all recyclable product. We wanna be safe for the environment and reduce our carbon footprint. That is it, and I've got swatches of each. So I have the Bruity Bronzer as the first swatch. The second swatch is the Magic Luminizer, and that's just kind of the highlighter. And then I've got two lip to cheek products. I have the lip to cheek in the shade Demure and Beloved. Ink doesn't swatch nearly as good. Um, it's just a little bit more softer, but that's okay. And then lastly, there's the Simply Vanilla Lip and Skim Balm. So you can use that all over the lips as well. I didn't swatch it, it's just a clear balm. Any of these products can be used pretty much anywhere. Like you can put your luminizer on your lips if you wanted to. I'm going to take some of this. Again, that coconut oil feeling. And just put a little bit there. Oh, wow. That just really cleaned up and polished the look. I'm not flipping you off. I apologize if you think so. Very, very beautiful. Let's try some of this bronzer as well. Also, just letting you know, this is pretty small so it's going to travel really well but also your brushes be be mindful your brushes may not it's designed to be used with your fingers i believe i got this japanese brush. i don't know what i was thinking there folks oh wow very very beautiful let's also just take a little bit more i'm just now using my brush and just sweeping a little bit up here this probably works for my school school my cool skin tone but yours if you have a warmer skin tone it's gonna act as a contour it's just a little bit too cool toned for a warm skin tone blends easy it's very hydrating very dewy so extremely nice for the winter months I don't know if you'll love the way that sits in the summer it, it probably would slip around a little bit on you nothing no tackiness whatsoever it's almost kind of finishing off a little bit powder excellent product as well I'm going to really enjoy that for my low-key but not in hiding days I mean let's face it nobody's really going anywhere these days but just to have like a fresh face and polished and you know put together I think it's gonna be perfect the next products that I picked up were the renewing lip scrub by rooted beauty and rooted beauty I thought was Grove collaboratives brand of beauty but I actually don't know if that is true or not and you can see that the consistency of this product is um, almost balmy with just a little bit of grit so if you don't love a lip scrub with a lot of sugar in it, then you will love this product. <clears throat> it has a very clean scent. It almost smells like, it doesn't have any fragrance added to it. It just smells kind of like oils and fresh. It just has a little bit of a fresh scent to it. Yeah, there's not very much sugar in it. So if you're more like you just need a light exfoliation, but mostly a balm, this is your product. Then the next product that I am very excited and happy that I picked up is the Rooted Beauty Restorative Lip Treatment. It's hypoallergenic, formulated without fragrance, parabens, phthalates, sulfates, and silicones. I have been looking for a product that can replace my Kiehl's Butter Mask. It's $26, so I am on the hunt for a product that will replace that. 
I feel like this is coming ultra close to. It's a really, really thick balm. When I add it to my lips, it doesn't feel like a mask, but I will say it definitely feels like a lip treatment. It feels thicker than a balm or a gloss. It feels really, really nice. And that's what I put on this morning before I jumped on camera here. I really feel like my lips are nice and moisturized, but I would say the butter mask still lasts a little bit longer, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> you can buy this individually or in a set. And again, I'll put the set price down below. You do save a little bit of money. I want to say it was like $18 for both of them or $16 for both of them. And singly, they're between eight and $9. So. I would provide a four hour check in for the RMS Beauty. I know I didn't say anything in my original video about it, but I just thought I would. So here is the four hour wear test. Um, I think you can probably see, let me go ahead and grab this, that it is creasing pretty good right in there. But I have really oily lids to begin with, and I did have some shimmer shadow put underneath and then here is kind of the I know I put the concealer down it looks like it's kind of you know worn off don't know what that is um, yeah so quite a bit of it is worn off I would say sorry my kids are outside playing with me so but that is it for the wear test and um I will let the studio Kendra take it away. So, bye. Okay, so we are back in the studio here, and I just kind of wanted to give you guys a checkup. So, here's what we're looking like. Okay, so I kind of smeared this stuff around and just redistributed the shadow. I recycled the shadow. I mean, I feel like. That's something that Rosemary would want it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so here you go. This is the look. It's really, really dewy. If if I would have powdered, I think I would be fine. I did lose most of the concealer. I think I would, in the future, just put some powder on, and I'd probably be okay. So, um, I don't think it was too bad. First impressions are I like the shadows. I like them. Um, it's definitely a different type of makeup. It's not, you know, ultra glam. It's not full B. It's not like stage makeup that stays there. It's kind of like it wears with you. And um, I did use some more vanilla balm, which it smells really good, by the way. But you can see here that there is some like, I mean, I don't want to be like dramatic, but it looks a little like Jaclyn Hill <laughs> balling up, which I think is what happens when like it melts and then freezes or, you know, that kind of stuff because there's not a lot of preservatives. There's not a lot of, you know, like chemicals or anything in there, emollients, that kind of thing. So it just basically, <clears throat> it hangs out <clears throat> and that's what it does. But yeah, so I, I'm i impressed. I like it. It's good. It does exactly what I want it to do. It gives you a nice, clean, polished look. It's not anything overboard. It's not over the top. I'm loving the glow. The Luminizer is actually probably my favorite, although I thought I was going to really like the bronzer the best. But I've really, really, really kind of enjoyed the Luminizer the most. And the bronzer, so to speak, is kind of gone. I guess you can see just a little bit of it. So I might do a little bit heavier. And then the eyes. Um, again, like I said, I kind of repurposed some of that creasy stuff. The little crease roller kind of like re-rubbed it in and boom, we were right back in business. So you wouldn't even need a brush or anything like that. There you go, guys. So this is um, eight and a half hours. So, I mean, not bad, not bad. Um, definitely if I had powder, it would probably have stayed put a lot more and would be a little less dewy. But other than that, I like it. And I am going to let you guys get back to the show. 
Okay, let's get into the portion of the video that is Grove Collaborative products. So you guys know I like Grove Collaborative products, but I don't like the mainstream products. Not gonna mention any brand names here, <coughs> Mrs. Myers, but I'm not a huge fan of the products that everybody knows and loves through Grove. I have my own, I marched to the beat of my own drum <laughs> for sure. So let's start with the first product that I picked up and that is the Grove Collaborative Hydrating Foaming Hand Soap Refill. And I picked this up in the aluminum. They still do have it in the sack or the bladder looking um, container, but I picked it up in the aluminum because that way we can recycle. We have um, recycling in my area, so I wanna make sure that I recycle and therefore I picked up the aluminum version. This again is also cruelty free and it's all plant-based. So I would imagine it's probably vegan as well. And it does, it has the um, recycling emblem on there. The next product that I picked up is just a replacement product. It is the Method Glass Cleaner in mint. I think they only have mint. This is for a streak-free shine, and I never have any problems with streaking whenever I use this product. I'm also gonna roll that B footage for you guys. You guys know I like to put my time and my value into my videos, so I will put what's in the bottle, give that to you. But it does contain fragrance, but again, we're not really adding it to our bodies or ingesting it, so I think that that's okay. Um, but it's plant-based cleaners. Just really good clean products that I like. Okay, this is a new product that I'm excited to try. It is the Method Daily Shower Spray. Oh wow, eucalyptus mint. It smells amazing. Very fresh. It says that it's cruelty free on the bottle. I'm not sure how much you are going to be able to see because it is in a clear bottle, but the bottle is recyclable. So that is always great. I kind of focus on cruelty free and recyclable as my number one. And then if I can get vegan, that's awesome as well. Unfortunately, when you hear vegan and when you see vegan, it's not always uh, the most environmentally friendly it's not always it's not always what it appears you know it's not always what it sounds like so sometimes I'm not really concerned about vegan as much as I am cruelty free and the ability to recycle the packaging once I am through with it that's very that's actually probably more important than cruelty free although that sounds really bad so I, I, I put them both together they tied for first place I picked up another Grove collaborative spray bottle. It is glass. It has a silicone sleeve. They work really great. I had one before this and I used it for two, two and a half years and unfortunately it slipped out of or it fell off the table and it did break so we had to dispose of it and so I got another one to replace that but other than that it was working just fine. There was no issues, no problems. Everything was great about it but it just unfortunately broke. I picked up another kids glass hand soap bottle. I mentioned it in my previous video in my Grove Collaborative haul that I did in 2020, which I will link in the I and down below that <clears throat> I like to use these glass soap bottles because you can put the hand, the, the refill soap into them and then you can just fill them up with water. So I went ahead and picked up, whoopsie. So I picked up another kids glass hand soap bottle and I just, they come with a silicone sleeve that enwraps the glass. So if it does slip off the counter or if it slips into the sink, you don't have to worry about it breaking with your children around. There's a little etched out marker for soap and for water and it's got little stars on it. It's very cute. <laughs> I love it. So I got another one. It was on sale. So I figured why not? Let's treat myself and the boys to a cute hand soap 
dispenser. <clears throat> These were also on sale on the Grove website, but they are the Grove Collaborative Dish Towels in the pattern Winter Woods. I don't know if I'm able to show you this as well as I'd like, but this dish towel is extremely thick. They are very absorbent. I will say this, there's a little rough period where you do need to wash the towels like 10 to 12 times before they really truly become kind of more softer material but they're very thick they're very 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 um i don't know they're just really thick towels but they work really well to mop up i mean you could probably mop up a gallon of liquid on the floor not that i would know about this <laughs> But yeah, I I basically switched to these dish towels because they're so wonderful and they're very affordable. Again, it'll all be linked in the description box down below. Got a couple more consumables here. I picked up some, uh, I think they're walnut scrubbers. I'd have to look at the thing, but just good quality sponges with the coconut fibers on top and then a um, compostable sponge below, I believe. So nothing really to report on them. I just use them to clean a lot. And so I picked up some more. And then of course it <clears throat> would not be a Grove Collaborative haul if I did not have my famous European dish cloths. I always pick up one or two of these and they come in a two pack. I think they're $5.95 or $6.95. So they're about two to three dollars. But what's really great about these is that when they get you know soiled after the day's use, you just go ahead and pop them in your dishwasher when you're going to do your load of dishes at the end of the day or whenever you do your dishes and then it cleans them it sanitizes them and they are ready for the next day's use so i love this you can do it for about a month i don't know i don't know exactly how long i mean i just know that i use them for maybe two to three two to four weeks and then i'll replace them so um, but I use them in conjunction with sponges too. So that sometimes is a little bit off-putting and can be a little bit misleading. And then lastly, I picked up this really good quality Grove Collaborative dish brush. It has a replaceable head. And I show you guys how to just basically, you just press that little lever down and pop the brush head off. You can replace it. You buy the brush heads on Grove. I think you get a two pack for somewhere around five or six dollars. And I'm sure this will last forever. <clears throat> also worth mentioning, if you are a boy mom or a mom, this right here is very important to you. And this is that little scraper. It has just like a little scraper on it. So you can scrape bits of food off of your um, pans and anything else. And if it should ever get to the point where it's just really worn down and everything, you can always, you know, um, demote this to like your tile scrubber or something else. But they're pretty affordable. So I picked one up to replace my cheap plastic one that's in the kitchen right now. It's made with bamboo. <clears throat> it does say on the tag that the brush head is top rack dishwasher safe and you just wanna hand wash the bamboo handle. So don't, don't put this guy in the dishwasher, just put this guy right here in the dishwasher. So that way you can clean and sanitize it. Probably use these for a really long time. I know we've had our cheap plastic one for a while, but it's finally getting broke down, so I decided to upgrade and replace. That is it for this Grove Collaborative Haul for 2021. I hope you enjoyed. If you found this content useful, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I'm out like sauerkraut. <laughs> Bye.